Hey guys, it's Megan here. And I just want to do a quick little vlog. Um, or I guess car vlog. I am driving, so if I'm not looking at you, that's why. Uh, plus, you can probably see all the trees going by in the window. <laughs> um, excuse my hair today. I did not get a shower this morning. I overslept a lot. <laughs> I didn't wake up till 7.30, you guys, and I'm supposed to wake up at 6.30, and I'm supposed to leave the house at 8, so <laughs> that is why this is going on the way it's going on. But, um, I am super excited that I'm able to get my hair up in a ponytail, because, um, I'm growing it out and all, and I'm just now able to do that. Uh, anyways, um, I just wanted to do a quick little car video, like I said, um, I am just so, so stressed out, like, um, really. I have so much stuff I have to do and need to do, I don't even know how I'm going to find time to do it. Um, I just, I don't know, it's, it's just a lot. <laughs> like, I'm still working full time, I work 9 to 5, I take my kids to daycare every morning, I pick them up every day. Um, a couple times uh, Wednesday nights I take Ella to church and so I have read all by myself at home and that's tonight and um, I also do my you know my business I have scarves and I sell baby blankets and the business is doing great which is super awesome for us because we can use the extra cash for when I go on maternity leave because I'm not going to be getting paid but for two weeks for maternity leave and I know that sounds crazy but I work for a hospital and their policy is is that they use PTO which is called which is stands for paid time off and you use the paid time off whenever you are at work so say you're gone for more than an hour you have to use PTO so all of my doctor's appointments and stuff like that um i've had to use my pto so i'm only gonna have like 30 hours when i have him or maybe even less if he comes sooner or yeah maybe even less if i have more doctor's appointments which i know i will be because when after you hit 36 weeks you start having weekly doctor's appointments so that is really a big bummer when I had Ella I was able to save up all my PTO and not use them for my doctor's appointments so I had like four weeks of paid leave and it was awesome and so on top of that um, I'm also going to be working from home I'm not doing exactly what I was doing before um, I'm only doing like it's pretty mindless work but it is a lot of work because for one nobody's been doing it so it's just gonna be a lot of catch-up and um, I'm gonna be getting paid by the item I'm not gonna be getting paid um, uh, per hour basically what I'm doing is I'm uploading um, files and stuff onto the main system for our hospital and so I'm gonna be getting paid per upload and um, so that basically means the faster I can work the more I can get done the more I get paid which we all know is going to be difficult with a newborn and my kids will not be going back to daycare I'm going to be taking care of them so I will be a stay at home working from home mother of three and I'm also going to be doing my side business so you guys I am just totally totally freaking out about all of this stuff and not to mention all of that plus at the moment I'm pregnant I am 35 weeks pregnant today and we have not done really anything in the nursery we've taken everything out that was Reed's and put it in his new room which I guess that's pretty good accomplishment but as far as his room we haven't done anything and I know a lot of people are like you know it's really not that big a deal it's he's not gonna be in the room which is true he won't be in the room until probably six weeks but you know I just I might just have to be one of those people and just wait because I just don't have the time I don't have the time and I don't have the energy either that's the other thing like when I get home from work I just want to sit on the couch and enjoy my kids and I can't even do that because I have this side business and so many orders that I have to get done before Christmas and I keep eating more orders and my husband you know yeah he wants me to make money and all so he wants me to take the orders and I'm just like 
Caleb, I can't do anymore. And he helps me a lot with them too. He helps cut fabric and stuff. But I think I'm at the point now where I, can't, I just can't take any more on. And I do want to get stuff up in the nursery. I do want to do that. And um, it just seems like we are not, that's just not going to happen. Um, I do have a baby shower coming up in a couple weeks on the 13th. I'm super excited about that. It was super last minute and I'm very, very appreciative to the friend that is doing that for me because we did not think that we were going to be getting a baby shower because this is baby number three, but um, I'm sure if you keep up with my pregnancy vlogs, you've know, I've told you that we didn't know we were going to be pregnant with number three, so we've gotten rid of all of our baby stuff after Ree came along. I don't know why I keep saying baby number three. His name is Jet. <laughs> it's just really so hard to keep to say it. So I need to keep saying it more and more because then that way when he gets here I won't be calling him baby number three still. <laughs> but um so yeah. That's all that I've got going on right now and I'm I don't do stress badly, but I don't do it very well either. I'm kind of the person that just kind of tries to um take things as they come but I'm getting pretty stressed out and I just don't I don't know I don't know what to do like I guess I just I need a moment to take time for myself and I don't even have that um, I've been staying up late so I could edit YouTube videos and um, this week has been pretty busy too so um, as far as that goes but I'm um, just trying to keep up with everything and it just seems like it's just a lot. Um, and at least I can say I am doing a pretty good job of it, I think. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not the most organized person, so I feel like I need, I need an assistant, you guys. I need an assistant to write all my orders down and to tell me when I need to make them because I did forget an order um, yesterday. I forgot to, I didn't even write it down, which is really bad. But, um, uh... Yeah, the girl contacted me and was like, hey, are we still going to meet this Friday for these two blankets? And I'm like, oh, sure. <laughs> and luckily, I have already bought the fabric and everything, so I just have to sew it up. But, uh, yeah, it's 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 interesting. Um, but that's the first order I've forgotten, so I guess I can say that much. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, so I just appreciate you letting me vent to you for a minute. Um, it does make me feel a little bit better just to talk it out out loud and I really appreciate all of you guys You guys have been super super amazing. I've been So thankful for the friends that I've made on YouTube and you guys have been so sweet and so supportive and y'all just really give me great advice and So I just wanted to I guess thank you guys for that, too and um, Yeah, so I guess I will take you on this ride for this crazy journey that I'm on. <laughs> but uh, I better get off here before I have a wreck. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.